Hi everybody, my name is Taylor Green, I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, my name is Rhys Barber, I'm the other audiologist here at Audiology Associates. So we've got, it's the first, our first round Monday, Wednesday, Fridays for you guys. So we've put three patients in this compilation video for you. I think there's two of mine and one of yours, I think, in this one. I think so. I think so. <laughs> uh, so we've got the first one here, this is my patient. So you can see a very, very sticky type of earwax. This is almost that sort of toffee consistency here. Quite a narrow entrance mm. to the canal. So we can just about get the, the, the standard size all the tube in there. Yeah, and the skin, skin's quite, quite flexible skin as well at the yeah, entrance. So you can see is. that kind of stretching as the suction tube just uh, kind of touched on the front of it. It tends to be as we get a little bit older, don't we, that, that skin loses this little bit of sort of elasticity. So it, it does get, a, you know, it, it's sort of more floppy in there at yeah. the entrance sometimes. Uh, but this is coming up, I'm just sort of fight it not because the wax is, is sort of hanging on in there, but basically because the, the, the plug of wax is just a bit too big <laughs> and it can't get through the gap. Uh, so we switched up to the Jobson horn, which is great to get uh, these little plugs out. There we yeah. go, out that comes. Yeah, you normally find it just kind of goes in and then opens again, yeah. and that's why they it's generally also, tend to Like a <laughs> bottleneck in there yeah. just as you come into the yeah. canal then. Um, but it's, that plug has come away there. We've just got a little bit of tidying up to do around the outside edge here. It's just hoovering up these little little bits and bobs just get those gone there we go you can see it almost yeah, like they, they can be a bit of a nightmare sometimes to take away because they yeah it, sometimes you'll have that that fine layer of dead skin yeah. that starts peeling away as you, you start bringing them away we're quite lucky obviously in this case you don't realize it's there sometimes you, and no. you start to lift it up and all of a sudden it's gone all the way down you're like oh <laughs> no uh, but you can see i think now i had a lady come in yesterday with i think had a false fundus i that, think that's that looks, very similar isn't that it? looks like look a false fundus here yeah. this is no um sort of eardrum uh, sort of markers there whatsoever. Couldn't see any, um, you know, mm -hmm. ha handle of the malleus, couldn't see any, you know, sort of light reflex, nothing there on that one. So I think that's a false fundus. And we do, they, they do come like buses. We might have yeah, one for ages, we we have don't, a couple, we go. That's it, yeah. And I, the, the false fundus, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously, on this one, but I think false fundus pr um, pretty much kind of forms from where people have continued issues with infections yeah. in the ear or damage um, to the canal or, or, or skin, damage, it? yeah. yeah yeah and it's 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 basically a second eardrum that forms in the middle of the ear canal so the actual eardrum is usually behind yeah. the 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 what we call the false fundus yeah. uh, but it it's it has a blood supply yeah. um, a lot of the time, so we can't do anything with it, unfortunately. You it's, can't just uh, suck it out because nah. obviously the, you, you end up with so much bleeding, so that's got to be surgically removed, and it? it'll be ridiculously uncomfortable to try to mm. take that out of there. Yeah, yeah. so um, this is going on to my patient now, sorry guys, I think there was an inch on the last We finished the second one already, we just <laughs> were talking too much. Um, so yeah, pr pretty quick one on this one. Came out nice and easy. It was for a plug with a lot of dead skin around there. Remember seeing that bit as a kid? A lot of dead skin <laughs> around the ends there. So yeah. Uh, and the eardrum looked lovely. Yeah. Oh, they look nice and healthy. Yeah. Nice and healthy. Yeah. So um, very, very, very similar on this side. It, it almost kind of looks a bit more soft on this one. Like it's almost going to be quite squishy. Yeah. And we've got the standard size on the tube. Or oh, we've got quite lucky in this case because a lot of the time when you see all this this kind of sheen on the front yeah. of the surface of the wax it could be it could be one one of two things it could be very very wet sticky and runny or it could be absolutely rock solid yeah, yeah there's no in between with these usually is there now that's going to be more difficult to remove because it looks impacted down in there doesn't it it's it, it you can yeah. see it's sloping down onto the canal wall surface all the way around so i think this is all tacked away in in the anterior recess as well which is that kind of little dip or trench just in front of the eardrum yeah. Very rarely, actually, we tend to see people that don't really have um, no. that kind of trench in front no. of the, in front of the ear. So I had a patient through yesterday, and their anterior recess was so pronounced. Honest to goodness, and as much as I tried to push the endoscope around the corner to see the entire eardrum, I could only see two thirds of the eardrum uh, because that was such a problem. And luckily, nothing had gone down in there. So I think it would have been a really a difficult case a, to get that out. Bit of a nightmare. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, as you can see, we've got a very, very similar story here. This is this is my patient. Sorry, guys, for the mention. We're kind of swapping. First one's Reese's. This one's mine. Then Reese's. Um, so we've got a very similar story here, a bit bit more tricky to remove, as we mm. said. It's, it's put up a bit of a fight for us, but we've got this thick layer of dead skin around this plug of wax. And it tends so it, to hang on to yeah, it. Yeah, it, they can be quite difficult to remove in some cases, but you can see that, that, that I've introduced some olive oil here, which is why it looks so wet. Uh, now, the, the reason we've used olive oil here, as we're gently lifting 
on this wax. What usually happens is some, most of that oil will just tend to run underneath that, that plug and it actually helps us to slide it out a bit easier. Mm. Um, now we've got a little bit of movement here. It's not very, 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 very slow movement, but yeah. there's a little bit of movement there. So I'm just trying that little bit in the corner now to almost try to turn it. I think we might loosen this away then. You do tend to have to sort of probe different parts of this plug, don't you? When you when it's when you get that little tiny yeah. range of movement to just try and find something that's a little bit looser on there, do you for these? Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit hidden away that yeah. you can't quite see that just needs to be turned or shifted a bit. Talking a lot of my hands today, that's <laughs> it. I'm not saying a word. I can't, I can't <laughs> comment on that. Why do only <laughs> fling it around? I, the reason Blackheads. I don't use my hands, I sit next to Taylor and <laughs> smack him in the face when I do it. A couple of missing teeth, <laughs> black eyes. <laughs> it's, it's starting to come away now. It's, it's that, that, you can see that little range of movement. It's just starting to work down his neck. Yeah, and... You could almost kind of see then a, a, a very, very fine little wiggle I've got on here. Oh, here we go. You can just see that shimmying forwards now. So we're yeah. starting to pull this out of the recess. Sashaying. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. Nice. Oh, I missed that. I was like, with the tear away. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I missed that one coming out. I look good. Right. Very solid. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, so that thick layer of dead skin, you can see there's a lot of irritation here. So. Um, it's quite it's quite possible at some point this patient may have experienced some sort of outer ear infection, yeah. um, which may have caused that that dead layer of skin around that plug of wax. It, it always has that. I, I refer to it as mottled. It's this sort mm. of you know you see this sort of pink aggravation underneath, and there's these sort of white patches yeah. over the top, don't you? Uh, and that's all that dead skin there that's been hanging around for a little while. Yeah, you can see it all there, just, yeah. like, just almost wrapping around yeah. the the wax. So yeah, just over an uh, inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter on that one. Yeah. And oh, three, I said to me, this is my job. Sorry, three centimeters. Three, three centimeters exactly. <laughs> oh, I said, I think I'm going to come back in again. I think this is not working. For me. <laughs> so this is, but I think this is my patient. Very humid ear canal straight away. You can see it's. Uh, really kind of thick, thick wax, this one. Uh, it looks super sticky as well. So we're just gonna try and clear uh, this very, very outermost part, this very lateral part of the wax here. Just trying to lift this up. We've got, a, um, the endoscope is literally just behind uh, those little cilia on the outer part of the ear, so which is why the hairs are just getting in the way a little bit, but they're the fine, downy sort of peach fuzz hairs. Uh, so you can't really clip those out anyway. No. There we go. Just it's super sticky. It is really, really sticky. You can see it's just sort of, you've got to peel it. Now, I mentioned this in a video the other day. The difficulty you have with these really super sticky or super wet waxes is you lose some of the visual indicators as to how far you're in the ear canal. Because ear yeah. canals are not, you know, poker straight. They, they do have this sort of very gentle sort of chicane in them, this sort of S bend in there. Uh, the problem is everyone's S bend is a little bit more pronounced than somebody else's and it doesn't always go left and right. Sometimes it'll go up or down, yeah, won't it? Yeah. Um, so it means it's difficult <clears throat> to locate and you don't want to crash into the canal wall with the suction tube because that would be quite uncomfortable really yeah. for the patient. We do see it, uh, you generally tend to find ear canals will tend to slope upwards more than yeah. more than likely. Yeah. Very, very rarely we'll get them sort of sloping downwards, but yeah. it can happen. We do see it quite yeah. often. You go almost like this sort of like a like a brow of a hill, do you? Sometimes yeah, you've got to kind of work yeah. up and then back down to the eardrum on the other side. This is quite, quite, and it can be quite tricky then as well yeah, to remove because they, they, you, we normally with the upward sloping ear canals, we tend to get some patients if they're able to to just slightly tilt the neck a little bit, yeah. just so we get a better angle, but. You can't really get someone to sort of no. tilt towards you because yeah. you'd be sort of upside down. Yeah, if you're right down there. <laughs> and and don't, you know, don't forget, we're using perfectly straight tools and we can put a bend on the suction tube, but you can't bend the endoscope if the endoscope's going to stay poker straight. So it means it's, you try to get a straight, uh, a straight tube into somebody's ear canal and you've got to sort of just judge the angle just right to be able to get the visual all the way down. So it's coming up okay at the moment i mean it's yeah a, it's, i mean touch wood it is it's, it's it didn't do too badly this one with the stickiness i thought i was gonna have real real problems with this one but it is moving it just needs yeah. to get that first section detached uh and then it'll come with it then i think you mentioned it on yesterday's video as well but we've i've found personally we've we've got sort of an influx of uh, a lot of patients using a lot of Otex. Oh, um, that, 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 it's it's, it's a the hydrogen peroxide drop, and yeah. it's it, it 
it makes microsuction very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very difficult. Um, not so bad in this case. Um, obviously, I, I think it's just olive oil that they would have yeah, used I in this so, case. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to be coming away quite no. crumbly and yeah, nice and nice and healthy looking. Yeah. That's good. Oh, was a look, look. See, I, I, I was looking and thinking, okay, yeah, there's, but you can see this, this very similar on this side. It looks a little bit wetter to me on this side, mm. though. It's got that sort of slightly wetter appearance. Now, uh, what I didn't spot when I first looked at it, but I can see now, you can see the edge of a dome. This is a hearing aid uh, dome. Do you know, I thought that was dead skin. Yeah, so did I when I first saw it. <laughs> wow, okay. It has that very similar appearance. And it wasn't until I looked together, I thought, oh, right, there's a dome in this patient's ear canal. Um, so, yeah, that was Good what was blocking him up. I know, yeah. To it, but it, was, I, it is very easy to misinterpret it, though, as dead skin. Yeah. I, I, you know, and the first glance, that's exactly what I thought it was. And I went in there again, was just about to put the tool in. I was like, oh, hang on a minute. That looks a little bit different. There's a little bit too much of a curvature to it. <laughs> that's coming away. You can see that much wetter. Uh, yeah. That's always nice when it does that. When you've got that wet the skin, you see yeah. the whole thing, the whole thing the coming canal. out. Yeah. Otherwise, it would start slurping into the canal, into the suction tube. You're like, oh, no, I'm going to be a brain. You just got <laughs> oh, all around it. <laughs> it's like, how long have we got? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got, I think this is the fine end on here now. I think just cause, because I think the entrance to the canal is just a little bit narrower here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we are. There's the eardrum looking nice and nice. healthy. So this is what it looked like beforehand. This is what it looks like afterwards. You can see a very different ear canal. Uh, so there we go. That's the wax. Oh, I, don't know if I, do. I think the dome is switched into the middle of that wax, I think. I would, see I would on say the left hand side. Oh, that's, left. Oh, sorry. It's yeah, right. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, left. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, at the top now. That's easier. <laughs> yeah, the top now. That's the dome that we pulled out. So that's, what, that's all embedded with wax you can see there. Uh, so that was two and a half centimeters. An inch. Yeah, bang on, bang on. Pretty much an inch. Yeah, yeah. Spot, spot on. Um, we have forgotten to tell you to uh, subscribe again, guys, which we always do on every single video. So uh, thank you very much for watching our video today. If you do enjoy the videos, you can always like, share, subscribe, heart, follow, all those things would be absolutely lovely. If you do have any UX problem and you want to see myself and the lovely Mr. Taylor Green, you can always come along here. A uh, uh, link to our websites in the bio, uh, along with our contact details and our address as well, so you know where we're located as well, guys. Uh, but as always, take care of yourselves. Take care of your ears. And take care of one another. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.